Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this action to quickly create an outline around black artwork to print on black t-shirts. Let's go. So as you can see, this is black line art. And if you wanted to print this on a black t-shirt, well, obviously that's not gonna work. So what I usually do is I create outlines around my artwork and fill it in with white so that I can print that on a black t-shirt as like a solid print. It looks really good and it's actually really easy to do. Recently, one of my followers, a guy named Keaton Burns, I'll put his tag right here, he reached out to me and asked me if I use any actions in Illustrator. He made a couple of examples and sent them to me and I've used them, but he really got me thinking more creatively about how I can use these to speed up my workflow for the specific things that I do and especially things that I do a lot. So I woke up early today and I started messing around with it and I was thinking about how I create these outlines and I really thought this was something that I could achieve using these actions. Now, if you're familiar with actions at all, you know it doesn't work for every single thing, but there are a lot of interesting uses for this and it takes some trial and error, but if you really get in there and start messing around, I'm sure you can find some things that will definitely help speed up your workflow. So the first thing you wanna do is go to window and check actions to make sure your actions window is open. I've got mine right here and I already have this one created because I made it earlier, but I'm gonna go through step by step and show you what I did to create this one so that you can do it too or create something similar for yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my artwork. Then I'm gonna hit this little plus button down here to create a new action and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it named action six, but you should name it something specific to what you're doing. Go ahead and hit record and now you can start doing what you need to do. So for me, the first thing that I do is I go to path and offset path so that I can add around this artwork here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that at three pixels and make sure that my joints are set to round. And I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see that it expanded that. But now what I wanna do is go to my pathfinder and click this button right here to merge these items and then click this button here to unite. Now you see it makes this nice solid image. And then what I'm gonna do is open my swatches and make sure to select a color here. So now I set that to white and then I'm gonna go ahead and press command shift and left bracket to send that white layer to the back. And then I'm gonna press command shift A to deselect everything. And now I just hit stop right here in my actions panel and that's it. Like it's literally it. It totally works on any kind of line art that I make. Like it's super specific to my style and the goals that I'm trying to achieve here, but it works so, so well. Here, I'll just delete that white one, select this artwork again, and then go back up to my action six and hit the play button and you'll see it run through that thing super fast. And now I can do this to all of my drawings anytime I need to take one and print it on a black t-shirt. And here you can see how good that looks. If I didn't have that white outline, I would lose a lot of the details, especially like right here around the eye, because that would just fade into the black shirt. So this way it allows me to make some really, really cool artwork. The prints on black t-shirts looks really awesome. And I can automate this and batch out a ton of my drawings and make them available on a black t-shirt. All right guys, that's it for this one. I hope it was helpful. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.